Yo, this is Satana Place, Pokemon Violet the Teal Mask. We continue our way up to Kirakami Hall to see what we can find with the second signboard. More Pokemon here you can see. We have Pachiritsu here from Generation 4. And others too. The Wulpix last time as well as others. Oh, here is a Pokemon that is a Terra type. What is it? It's Vulpix. Oh, I got one though, so I'm gonna skip. Oh, the lag. Ah, please, new Nintendo Switch system, please. Potion. Darling, what they have? A super potion. Always nice. Especially better than regular potion, because they're a bit too on the weak side. Most for confluence here. There's a center here. Oh, a victory bell. Psychic type victory bell. Interesting. It's festival time. Really? Have you been to the festival yet? It's special party held every year at Kirakami Hall. Oh, really? The festival against Minato, the festival boy, and his Pokemon of choosing is... Corpish. Corpish we already got. I think it was in the... Second episode when this get coming. So Corpish is a generation uh, three Pokemon. Oh, actually survived. Bad. Generation three Pokemon. It's a pure uh, water type, but it does get a secondary typing when it evolves into Crawdon, which becomes a dark type as well. But down goes the Corpish. That's the only Pokemon that this boy has. Unfortunate for him. I think it's time for a pity party over here. Well, kid, there are Pokemon everywhere. Go catch, go catch some of them. Like I don't get the the issue. You have one Pokemon, and there are several near here. Like go catch one, kid. I don't get it. Maybe I'm not supposed to get it either, I don't know. Oh well. Get some Pokeballs here. And for those who didn't maybe watch last episode, we got an egg from Mr. Jacques. He's apparently here. Uh, it hatched into Chimchar. And yeah, it's always one of the three Generation 4 starters that it evolves into. It's random. And you don't get a Pokedex entry to it because this Pokemon is not in the Kitakami Pokedex. But... Maybe it'll show up in the next Pokedex for um, the Blueberry Academy when we get to the Indigo Disc. Now, trainer here, let's fight. Kitakami Hall is bursting full of fun things to check out. Such as. She's in there, the Festival Girl. And the Pokemon choosing is Vulpix. Yeah, the choosing a Pokemon in in here is kind of the same as you would expect. Let's go for close combat. Let's do something different. It's pretty hard. Kill the Wulpix. Normally we'll reduce our stats as well, but because this was the only Pokemon that she has, there's no stat change. The Festival of Masks is a Kirikami Hall too. The Festival of Masks, you say? Hmm. Interesting. It's a terror right here as well. And it's... Ah. Interesting. But it's only a 3 star raid though, so I'm gonna skip. I will probably want to go on if it was a 5 star raid. Maybe we should try to do a terror raid this, this episode. Got a potion and a trainer here. Let's fight. I'm on my way to Kirakami Hall to make a delivery. How about you join me for a battle? Sure. Tomo the Courier is our opponent. His Pokemon choosing is Squawkabilly. Now Squawkabilly is not a returning Pokemon. This one is actually a Generation 9 Pokemon. But it has no evolution. But this one is cool because it has multiple color variants. 
but it's pretty easy Pokemon. It's a flying type. Normal flying, I think. But nothing too dangerous. It doesn't have an evolution, which is kind of sad. At least now we have a parrot Pokemon, though, like this one, so... He has another one! Okay. Next Wokabilla comes in, and this one is... Ah, yellow one! This one also knows Intimidate, which means my attack power is now minus two. Which is a bit of a lame thing, because my Nuzzle now did a lot less damage. But still, powerful enough. Brave Bird. One of the strongest physical um, flying moves in the game, but it does have a recoil effect, so it will do a lot of damage in return as well. With a close combat, taking care of this uh, Squawkabilly, and Squawkabilly is going to go down. This guy has more Pokemon, right? It's the Ravia. So the Ravia is just like uh, Squawkabilly, and it's a normal flying dual type. Let's bring in Azumarill. Azumarill was, was switched out for uh, the egg we had. Now I think it's time for Azumarill to play a bit. Here comes the Ravia. The evolved form of Starly, which also later evolves into Staraptor. So we have Ice Spinner. Versus Agility. Increases speed by 2. Ice Spinner, which is a very powerful physical ice attack. Then we learn by TM, critical hit as well, and the story goes down. And level 91 now, and Zimmer will be closing into our level 100, people. Going close. Okay, except this, of course, as well. So, the reasons why people say you should battle trainers. Oh! The car, uh, Riolu. So Riolu is the baby uh, pre-evolutional form of Lucario, which is a very known famous Pokemon. This one is a fighting type, but when it evolves to Lucario, it begins also the steel type. Certainly a good Pokemon to have if you need a fighting type. Fighting Steel is a pretty good combination, which also means that yes, Lucario is weak to its own type, very weak to, um, to fighting, but still very powerful. It goes off Riolu. So this one is very good, becomes even better once it evolves into Lucario. We're starting to increase our numbers a bit, so that's pretty good. Still have a long way to go though, but yeah, I'm not gonna complain. We're up on the hill here. For like a picnic here. Are you hungry? I can share with you if you'd like. We get a lot of items for a picnic, it's pretty nice. Eating a nice sandwich outdoors in Kitakami really is something special. How are you feeling? You can take a rest if you like. Yeah. It acts like, like a Pokemon Center, which is nice. Three really does make company. Come by again whenever you want. Hey, you're one of those students from Paldea. See, I happen to make chairs in my free time. I'm a bit stuck on my design to use them as picnic chairs. Could you maybe show me any tablecloths you got on you? Do you even have any? I guess we show something. Hmm, I see. So these are the kinds of design people in Paldea like, huh? I'm going to try making some new chairs using the designs you showed me. And a one and a two, and here we go! My worker is done! Allow me to share the fruits of my labor with you in thanks. And we get a set of handmade chairs. Academy chairs and simple chairs. If you happen to put on any new tablecloths, don't forget to show them to me. So yeah, this guy can make tablecloths based... I mean, chairs based on new tablecloths. So just come to this guy 
whenever you have new tablecloths that you want to turn into chairs. I mean, not like turn into, but make chair versions of. Alright, so here we have entrance to Kitakami Hall. With some uh, Misuing Growler statues. So here we have Kitakami Hall. They have some stalls there, which is nice, but they're setting them up because it's going to be a festival here, which we're going to attend later on. So when we when we attend the, the festival, these things will be open. For now, let's continue up the chairs, stairs here. You can see that the uh, the exclamation icon is on the top here, so we should go up there right now. There is the signboard. Let's just go there right away. Repeat ball. Repeat ball is great. It's the best ball to use if you want to capture a Pokemon that you already have captured before. There's the signboard. Uh, Kieran is nowhere in sight, but he probably is hiding because the boy is so shy, so he doesn't want to you know, reveal himself. Well, let's see what happens now. That's the second signboard! Bit tricky to find, huh? S sorry! I'm falling at a distance, so I... I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the power of his cudgel will change. When wearing the teal mask, it will bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it will turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it could stop the very flow of a river. When wearing the ashen grey mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they rest away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? The masks the loyal three stole are kept over at Kirakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me? I really like it. It was strong. And cool, and didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I always wanted to be like that, ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I, I want to try to get stronger, so I can do things for myself, you know. I'm going to become someone people can rely on. Then, uh, just maybe, uh, I could be that ogre's friend. Oh, um, uh, right. Picture. Uh, we're supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one too, if you don't mind, Titano. And there we go. We have a bit of a cute picture. I care smiles. It's nice. Not as energetic still, though, but at least... Uh, Looks nice, though. Phew! I knew it was the right call to let you handle it, Zatano. Now, on to the next signboard. Oh! And you know the mountain the stories say the ogre lives on? It's actually only mountain. You can climb it from the stairs over there. If you want it, we could, um, go see the ogre's home? Folks call it the Dreaded Den. Mm. I want to see it. Y yes I really, uh, wanted you to see it for yourself, Satano. So, um, if you keep climbing up, 
you reached Infernal Pass. There's a sign before that. Uh, if you turn the sign, you can get to the Dreaded Den. So, uh, I'll just head up up then. Uh, come along if you're ready. And be careful. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess we're gonna go to the den first then. And I guess we'll probably go for the third um, signboard after that. So it's interesting you can read here. So we read now that there's the the three Pokemon that shunned the ogre away. But they stole the masks. I mean usually stealing is seen as a negative thing, aren't it? Or they just steal it because the Pokemon was bad, the ogre. Mm. That's interesting. So we can see the mountain on the side here, it's pretty nice. And yeah, you do can use your Miraidon to just climb around and get to everywhere you want, but that would be boring. So we have a bit of a trick, a trap to to go though, but we'll follow the road, so... It'll take some time, that's that's fine though. So, uh, next episode, we're gonna go to the Dreaded Den. See if we can find uh, the uh, so-called place where the ogre was. And maybe learn some more story about it. Maybe Kira knows something more about the ogre than the signboards have told us. And then maybe we can find the third uh, signboard. And then return back to town so we can continue our school trip here in the Kitakami region. But obviously we have a lot more to explore. We've only been at the very south part here. We still have a whole area around here that we haven't visited yet. What could it be? What could we learn? And what can we find, and what mysteries do we learn about the Kitakami region? Maybe next episode we will learn something new. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media, and that's going to be it for now. See you next time as my journey in Pokemon Violet the Teal Mask continues.